Okay, day 15. I have my lovely assistant here, Gus. <laughs> Say hi, Gus. Hi, Gus. Smell my breath. Um, I just got home from the grocery store and I inhaled food. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have gone shopping hungry. But I know that a lot of us think, or I know I go, going into the Whole30, I was worried about how much it was going to cost. Like, it's going to be way more expensive. A lot of the, in, the recipes seemed complicated. Like, you needed a lot of ingredients. Um, but today... I shopped for the week. I still need to get a couple things like almond butter. I need to get chicken thighs um, and a few little producey things, but nothing crazy. Probably another like, probably, I'll probably spend $30 um, when I go shopping tomorrow or whenever. But I spent $108 today, and that includes snacks for the kids' lunches, the processed stuff I don't want to own up to it buying, but like the Cheetos and the tortilla chips, stuff that the rest of my family is still eating. Plus our proteins and all of that. So for us, I don't know what you spend on a week, but for us that's really not too bad. It's kind of in line with what I've been doing. And I am noticing that I'm just <laughs> buying less of the more processed things that I would buy, which has never been crazy. We've always been pretty mindful about that. But um, honestly, it hasn't been that much more expensive. So I'm just making it work. I'm still making recipes that my family like, and I'm just kind of modifying them a little bit. Easy peasy. So one thing that I feel like because I've removed sugar from... Are from the majority, well, I've removed sugar from my diet completely, and then from using <clears throat> some of the ingredients in normal recipes, like your canned tomatoes have sugar. So by tweaking all that, I feel like by removing sugar, you amp up the garlic factor. And I am so tired of my fingers perpetually smelling like garlic. I've been a hardcore old school garlic girl where I get the I get the cloves, I smash them with my knife, and I put them through the garlic press, and I'm just tired of it. It's fiddly, there's a lot of work. I'm using tons of garlic, even more than before. We're part vampire over here, apparently. So, I broke down, and I bought a jar of minced. So, if you are a minced garlic person, I don't know, is there a difference in the different kinds? If you have a kind you love, let me know. Um, I just got this at Fry's, and I probably should have waited and gotten it at Sam's. I'm sure it would have been cheaper, but I needed garlic today. So, did that. Day 15, I'm feeling good. I got a haircut today. Um, and my hairdresser friend was like, you seem more quiet. You're not as bubbly as normal. Are you okay? So I kind of feel like that's a reoccurring theme. Like, I don't feel as on as I have in the past. Um, I am sleeping well, and I have energy. I'm not achy or anything like that. Um, I, but I just feel more even. I don't know. Not that that's a bad thing or a good thing, but... Um, I just feel more even. So day 15, I'm officially halfway there, super pumped, and already trying to figure out what my first item will be that I'm introducing back in. As I was going through the grocery store today, I'm like, oh, it's going to be wine. I was like, no, it's going to be whiskey. I was like, no, I want feta. I really miss cheese. So I don't know. Stay tuned. I guess we'll figure that out as we go. But so far, so good. Let me know if you have any recommendations on my garlic situation. And other than that, just keep being awesome. Keep doing your thing. I'll see you later.